the streets of Europe, these are the scenes that have been playing out as countries once again are announcing a fresh wave of restrictions as the third wave hits. Rallies protesting against what they've branded health dictatorships were held from Austria to Sweden, Serbia to Switzerland, from Poland to France. Demonstrators say they simply have had enough. We are fed up. We no longer know which foot to stand on. We are a little lost. It's all a blur. We have the impression of being muzzled. We are not free. We no longer have a social life. These restrictions are totally useless. I don't feel like I'm in lockdown. We can go out like we want as long as we have our certificate. So should we change the restrictions, maybe? In Germany, more than 20,000 took to the streets in the city of Kassel. Unmasked protesters decried a recent reversal on the easing of restrictions, a threat to freedoms. We are here in Kassel today because all the measures that are being taken here in Germany no longer serve the people. I consider coronavirus to be a serious disease, just like the flu, which can also be very serious. But to make a pandemic out of it, as we are experiencing now, with many restrictions on our basic rights, I don't think that is justified. Water cannons and pepper spray were used to disperse protesters. That tactic was also used in the Netherlands. Protesters were left wet, but they remained undeterred. Across in the UK, in the capital of London, protesters defied a current ban on public demonstrations. They demanded the rules be changed, a call echoed by more than 60 MPs. They've written to the Home Secretary saying criminalising people for protesting was not acceptable and arguably was not lawful. Dozens were arrested as tempers frayed. <laughs> In Marseille, a different tack was taken in defiance of health regulations. Thousands packed the streets for an undeclared carnival. A party atmosphere shot down by officials as it descended into destruction. Nothing justifies destroying collective efforts to contain the virus. Nothing justifies desecrating the site of the Rue de Bain building collapse. Nothing justifies attacking children's games and public facilities. While the EU is trying to tackle vaccine shortages, it's admitted to making mistakes during the pandemic. But have lessons been learned? I think decisions are still being made uh, on the go and not very thought through. Um, I think they're not doing a very good job at it. I mean, it, it's working, but by luck, not really by design. I think that um, in some extent they, they learned about the COVID, but I think that uh, um, the most important thing is uh, that there is uh, no consensus at the European level. I, I think we have learned some and we took action, but the thing is, you can't restrict life so much. EU citizens are once again feeling the pain of tightening restrictions. But after more than a year of living by the rules, it seems now that more and more people believe that they are damned if they do, damned if they don't. Charlotte Dubinsky, RT, Paris.